Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 in the Attractors tutorials in Max. Today we're going to be making a Lorenz uh, system. And the setup here is going to allow you to basically make any 3D differential system. Uh, I'll link in the description of this video a cool site that has a list of these. It lists the equations and even has like little animations of what the attractor looks like so you can implement any of these with the knowledge that you are about to learn it's a pretty similar setup to last time we got three planes of noise this time because this is a 3d uh, system and then we're going to need a gen we want to scale the noise and then we're going to need our matrix. And we'll need our mesh. Oh, that's not going to be a fit. Alright, so scaling the noise between minus one and one. And then here is where all the fun equation stuff happens. So we want to swizz out all the dimensions, all three. X, Y, and Z. We're going to repack them at the end. So, the equations are down here. We're going to need a couple parameters. It's going to be an A, a B, and a C. Because I don't know Greek letters. And then we're also going to have a dt parameter. And this parameter is also basically going to be the, the speed at which we're going to be doing this. So I believe a should be 10, b should be 28, and c should be 2.667, or 6 recurring. But obviously, you can't do that. So for the x equation, we've got a times y minus x. So y minus x times a. And then basically, we multiply this by dt and add it back to the previous x position. There we go. We're going to need some more of these. Oh, no. I want both. There. Now for y, we've got b minus z. Times x. And then minus y. And last but not least, we've got z equation, which is x times y. z times c. And then we're subtracting them. And there we go. That uh, should do it.
hopefully I didn't fuck anything up. If I go ahead and turn on our... Oh, and I forgot the metro. Bang on this matrix. There we go. And we're going to have to scale this, aren't we? Yep, absolutely. Let's go times 0.1. Let's how about that. Oh, wait, no, we cannot do that. I just realized. We have to do this. There we go. And we still might have to zoom out a little. There it is. It's really big at first, but it'll... We speed this up a little. We can send it... Oops. Send a DT 0 0.05. Speed this up a little. Oh, maybe too fast. Let's try that again. There we go. Yeah. So that's the Lorenz attractor. And like I said, I encourage you to go through that website and try out some of the other attractors in there. Uh, they're pretty cool. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.